hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well today i share how to make this oven grilled red snapper fish so keep watching if you want to see how i make this so to begin i'm going to clean the fish see how fresh our fish is looking i just got it from the fish market i went very early so they were still kind of setting up otherwise it would have helped me scrape the scale out of the fish but then they took out the gut already before i even got there so they were like if you want us to do extra work on the fish you would have to wait or come back later and i was like you know what just give me i'll clean the fish myself so now i'm going to cut the fins and then remove the gills i'm also going to clip off the tail and then i'll go ahead and scrape the scale of the fish if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking to watch this video please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you love what you see to my returning subscribers thank you so much for all your love don't forget to click the like button as well So once I finish scraping off the scale from the fish, I'm going to rinse it off with water now. I also like to go into the gut and just scrape off anything that may be there even though the gut have already been removed. So yeah, I'm going to continue until everything is done. I was going to fry some fish so I thought I should just grill one. So even though you see me washing a lot of fish, I only grilled one and fried the rest. Okay, so I'm going to continue until I'm done. So after the first wash, I'm going to pour it back into the bowl and then this time around I'm going to wash it with some lemon. The lemon will help cut down on the smell of fish and make our fish come out very clean and fresh. You can also wash with salt or vinegar. So once I finish cleaning the fish, our fish is nice and clean. I'm going to give it one final rinse and then place it on a paper towel to drain off any excess water. You can also pat this dry because you don't want this fish to be wet at all. Next, I'll make some incisions on the fish just like so on both sides. This will help the marinade to penetrate more into the fish and just make our fish very delicious. So for the marinade, I have some spring onion, some basil, green bell pepper, fish seasoning, garlic and ginger, seasoning cube, habanero pepper, fresh thyme and onions. I'm going to cut this up now and then put it in a blender, add some oil and then blend until it is smooth. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. The marinade was too much, remember I'm working with only one fish, so I'm going to reduce some into another bowl, transfer it into an ice cube tray and place it in my freezer for next time. You guys, this marinade was so good. The combination of veggies, that basil was just amazing, try it out. So to the portion I reserved for the fish, I'm going to go ahead and add the fish seasoning, mix that up and then start applying it to the fish. When applying this to the fish, you want to be very generous with it, add it into every corner, into those incisions, the belly, the head, everywhere. You want it to be covered in this goodness. So next I'm going to add some green bell pepper into the belly and some onions and you guys this just elevated the flavors of this even more. Then I went ahead to clip it with a toothpick. Now I'm going to cover this and let it marinate for at least 2 hours. You can do overnight if you have the time but even with the 2 hours I did it was still very delicious. So onto a grease rack I'm going to now transfer the fish and then put it in the oven so it can broil or grill on 470 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes on this side. Mm -hmm. 
so while the fish is in the oven i'm going to go ahead and peel some potatoes you know i'm looking to make this a full meal like fish potatoes and coleslaw with a glass of water or juice which is very filling right if you don't like overfeed you know mm -hmm. so yeah once i finish peeling this i'm going to slice it and you know soak it in water for about 30 minutes pat it dry before you start frying this will help you get a very crunchy french fries yeah so you want to pat it dry really well so that there's no moisture left on the french fries so yes now i'm going to go ahead and fry the french fries until it turns brown So next I'm going to prepare the coleslaw and I'm using the store-bought coleslaw which is okay I mean it's not every time we'll be slicing bim 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 you know sometimes just lazy around it's okay <laughs> so yeah I'm going to add some hints to that and mix it very well and set it aside to make yours at home just slice up some cabbage carrots and you have your coleslaw so 15 minutes later this top part is really looking good at this point it is done actually this fish is done it doesn't take that long to cook but of course i want the other side to brown as well so i'm going to go ahead and flip it over gently don't break your fish and then add a bit more seasoning to this other side put it back into the oven and let it grill for another 8 to 10 minutes and your fish is ready at this point i'm going to serve and enjoy i have the coleslaw i have the french fries and i have the fish i just went ahead to garnish with some onions and this is dinner very simple easy delicious and you are going to love it try this out send me pictures on instagram if you do don't forget to tag me on your insta stories as well so i can repost i hope you click the like button if you enjoyed watching thank you so much see you in my next one bye